you. Today we're going to be learning about the basics of colors. It's really important to be aware as an interior designer of the effects that colors have on people's emotions. We're going to start out with the primary colors. The primary colors are red, yellow, and blue. These are the primary colors because they're not a blend of any other colors. The secondary colors are made up of primary colors. And these colors are orange, green, and purple. Territory colors are made up of a secondary color and a primary color. So an example of this would be blue plus green equals blue green. Complementary colors are directly across from each other on the color wheel. So purple and yellow are complementary colors, blue and orange are complementary colors, and red and green are complementary colors. When you guys put these colors next to each other, they really pop. So this is red with green. And the colors really, really pop up next to each other. Um, analogous colors are the colors that are next to each other on the color wheel. So an example of this would be red, orange, and yellow. Red, orange, and yellow are also warm colors. These make you feel calm. And safe. So, if you add these colors up, you'll get the symbol for the red cross. And there's a reason that they decided to make this um, symbol red. It's because red does make people feel safe. Cool colors are blue, green, and purple. These colors make people feel really relaxed. So here's a guy sleeping because he's so relaxed. The specific color that I chose to focus on was red. Red, besides making people feel safe, also um, evokes really strong emotions in people. Mm. So it can make people feel really angry. It can make people feel rushed. Here's a running guy, because he's so, so rushed. It can make people feel love. And it can also make people feel hungry. Did you guys ever notice that McDonald's is painted red? Or has a lot of red in it? It's because it invokes hunger. So that's all for the basic colors of the day.